Welcome back to Packer Avenue Philly Edition. This morning, we're headed to the Philadelphia Pretzel Factory to see how pretzels are made in Philly. This is mostly for my German friends who say that you can't make a pretzel outside of Germany. I grew up on these things. They used to cost a nickel when I was in grade school. Uh, it's a little bit different story now, but we're gonna go see the process. Okay, Wawa coffee in hand and ready to go, waiting for the bakers to arrive at the Philadelphia Pretzel Factory. Okay, so we got it serious. The, the bakers have arrived and uh, this is a process that happens every day here at six o'clock. And here we have the dough that's been proofed overnight. Pretty standardized baking procedure from uh, my small experience, at least anyway, my home baking and sourdough. And is that another a bit of yeast that goes in? That's or? a floppy yeast, yeah. Okay. And then this proof dough is actually gonna go into our new mix mm -hmm. to keep it still like a little fluffy and right. colder. Like a foolish kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I heard you guys go through a lot of flour in these. Yeah, we go through uh, roughly 50, 80 pound bags of flour a week. And is the flour special? Is it like, I know like with pizza dough, some mill their, mill their own dough and some like use that double zero. Uh, no, is this it? is just all purpose enriched flour. Okay, well I gotta say, this is running like a well-oiled machine. The two ladies in here are just like kicking butt. Running around is a really nice little system. One thing leads to another. Right now, the dough is going for about seven and a half minutes. Actually, exactly seven and a half minutes. I can't wait to see that come out. That looks pretty yummy. <laughs> and if you bake a little bit, or gets thrown into the popper from the top, and they have breathed life into the dough forming machine. This looks really neat. I can't wait to see this. Looks like it comes through the little chute there and it cuts off. in a year to make two Olympic swimming pools like seawater. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> but that's the website. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, they look nice and they, they've got some real substance right now. Yeah, they have a nice proof on them. So they're yeah. easy to work with. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't, my blood pressure's going up just looking at it, right? <laughs> There are a number of variations here at the Philadelphia Pretzel Factory, and this 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 is a local favorite. Like, yeah, Taylor Corporal. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to go on the wonderful little bagel-looking pretzel thing. Yeah. <laughs> bagel buns. Yeah. All right. Looks yummy. Okay, a big shout out to the girls at the Philadelphia Pretzel Factory. That was really a great time this morning, having a chance to get in there and see how, the, just to see the process. We're gonna take a little break, gonna go home, have a cup of coffee, take a shower, and then go back and uh, taste the final product. First of all, a big shout out for the folks at Philadelphia Pretzel Factory. They were awesome and it was, uh, it was wonderful having the tutorial today. So now it's an opportunity to taste, compare, and show all those German friends of mine what it's all about. So, pretzel unveiled. We saw these this morning uh, being baked in fresh out of the oven. The feel, they're called Philadelphia soft pretzels and they are soft. Uh, simple recipe. I know that the German version of these has lard and malt and some other ingredients. This is a very simple recipe. And to that extent, they are kind of light and fluffy, um, depending on a tiny bit of crunch, okay? Not disappointing, but these are you know, seriously soft pretzels, but pretzel, simple in design. Also got a little bit of cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. 
Don't be afraid of it. It looks like cheese whiz, but it's not. Don't be afraid. And we have another special treat today. It's not all about pretzels, but this is something that would not be foreign to my Berlin friends. It's a dog in a blanket, and this time in a pretzel wrapping. I'm gonna go right in with the cheese on this. Good take of the dog. You can see these are a lot of the stands, the ditch stands in, in Berlin. In addition to a really good soft pretzel, lots of different toppings, they've got a hot dog in a pretzel. And another variation that they have is a pretzel bun with Taylor pork roll, which is a very popular kind of breakfast sandwich on the East Coast and particularly in New Jersey. So until we come back to you next time, big shout out for Philadelphia Pretzel Factory and see you again on Packer Avenue soon with more highlights from Philadelphia. Ciao. Mm -hmm.